Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it took a little bit, f it took a little while for the computer to get Windows 7 installed, but it finally got installed. Let me hit the lights. I will eventually get a shop light. In fact, I'm going to try to do that within the next week or so. But hopefully, I can get that shop light and then. I won't have to worry about squinching down or anything like that. Get some fluorescent tubes put in it. I'll skip that. I'll put that in later. Make sure the internet's not hooked up. Cause I got to put Service Pack 1 on here. I need to create me a slipstreamed version of Windows 7 that has Service Pack 1 integrated into it. This looks right. It's only a couple days before Christmas, and I gotta get this computer ready. I gotta get this one, I gotta get the green and yellow one ready. I gotta have them both of them loaded with Windows 7. So. <clears throat> This one's gonna be the new backup computer for my family. So if any, so if anybody needs a computer, or if anybody's computers go down, they can use this one because this will be the new backup one. Because the old one, like I said, I mean it's running Windows XP Service Pack 2. The antivirus is outdated. I mean it's just so slow. It's only got. A fucking Pentium 4 2 gigahertz processor 256 megabytes of RAM I mean it's so slow and like I was saying in one of my earlier videos a power supply died in it so to me it ain't even worth putting a power supply in Let's check all me drivers This thing is kind of slow for some reason. AMD dual core. Oh, we got an unknown device. I'll have to find that. We'll find out what that is later. Let me put Service Pack 1 on here first. <clears throat> I said I got a couple other computers. I'm probably gonna strip. I mean, I got a couple power supplies. Um, got a couple LCDs. Oh, she didn't show up for some reason. And this thing says it has a floppy drive. There's no floppy drive. I know what that is, though. From my mom's computer for the longest time the deal was saying that it had a floppy drive installed and there was no floppy drive in it well what it was the option in the bios for diskette drive was selected at three and a half inch floppy 1.44 mb and when that was enabled that enabled this to pop up as windows has detected the floppy controller had been enabled and why oh, doesn't my flash drive work? Uh, give me a moment. I gotta plug this in the back. I don't think the front hub is working on this computer. I wonder what video 
chip this thing has. And it's got two gig of RAM in it. Two gigahertz Sandy dual core. It's got an 80 gig hard drive. Oh, it's got a G4 6100 in it. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, 6100 is an older card, but I th that's onboard graphics on this thing, though. But why is this thing so slow? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Let me try it at the port. There it goes, finally popped up. I don't think any of the USB ports are working on it. I'll have to fix that. Oh, back up. Wrong folder. Copy over the Windows 6.1 KB976932 X86. And I... And... Layman's terms, that is Windows 7 Service Pack 1. <laughs> I don't want to freaking download it for Windows Update, so I'm just going to use the executable that I got on my flash drive. It would take forever to install the Service Pack through Windows Update, because it's got to install the other updates first. We're just going to run through this. Now we wait. So. Anyways, like I said, I got to get... All of them computers. So, well, I'm going to let this thing do its thing, and I'll see you on the next video.